Hello guys, this is Trust, Trust Okafor. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your sales on Wombat. And also, um, apart from showing you how to sell on Wombat, I'm also going to be showing you common issues uh, when you're trying to sell on Wombat. And also probably how to buy RAM. So I might separate this into the two different video, but the main purpose of this video is to show you how to sell on Wombat. <laughs> so, um... Let's dive into that. So this is Wombat right here. And if you want to sell your NFT, usually when you go to your gallery, you can just sell your NFT from the gallery section. But then we are not going to be doing this from the gallery section because um, most of the times it actually gives us issue when we are trying to sell from the gallery. And I'm going to explain the same issue that we actually got from trying to sell on Wombat. So, um where do i start from all right let me start from here so when you click on this area you can easily select your nft whichever nft you want to sell this is taking some time to load let me just allow you to load so that you see the nfts display all right so these are the nft so now to sell an nft once you click on this area you can see an option where it says list to market once you click on this area, it's going to display you a suggested amount. You can also manipulate this amount by editing it. But if you are okay with the suggested amount, just go ahead and hit use. Um, usually, you should be able to edit, but for some reason, I'm not able to edit the amount right here. So just go ahead and click on use. And then this is the amount that you sell the NFT. So you can also alter this by increasing it. Let me show you right so um once you have altered the price you can now click on create listing now if you click on create listing you should be able to sell this to the eos store so but then you notice there is an error right error says permission and then some unknown uh, words now i do not know exactly what causes this but whenever you receive this error is actually normal but most of the times i'm actually able to sell from this area but sometimes you will not be able to sell that is an issue i don't know exactly how to fix so um let's go back and these are all my nft this is the worth of this particular nft and all the nft have their different words and their different prices listed so just go ahead and close this out by clicking on this area and then click on the marketplace right here and then go ahead and choose any of the one that you want to sell if your nft is on wax you can select wax if it's on um, eos you can click on the eos right here so i just selected eos and i want to sell this nft so the next thing you need to do to sell your NFT is actually to come to the inventory area. Make sure you are logged in. If you are not logged in, because there is going to be a login option, but I'm already logged in, so it's not displaying. But if you see a login option, select the login and make sure you select login with Wombat Master or Wombat. Let me uh, show you guys. I'm already logged in right here. That's the reason why it's displaying. So let me log out and then show you. So currently I am logged out. No, to log in to click, um, most times it displays on this area. Yes, this is it, login. So when you click on login, you notice one bat. Just select one bat. But then if you do not see it, click on this menu icon and then choose login. So once you log in, go ahead and choose one bat and it's going to automatically load your one bat. And usually it will ask you to select or to confirm, but I've already done that previously. So it's no longer giving me those options. So once you log in, Next, next thing you need to do is to click on your profile. Then if you do not want to go straight to your profile, you can click on the drop down on the profile area and then you go to your inventory. So when you go to your inventory, it's going to show you everything that is on your inventory. And you can see right here, I have a total of um, 20 EOS and this is the worth of my EOS. So if I scroll up, this is actually my profile and um my total eos budget is currently zero eos okay i think i have some eos on my wallet i don't know why it's showing zero eos and then on my inventory i have a um, total of uh, 20 eos what 20 worth of eos and which is going to be approximately 11 dollar now to sell this eos all you need to do is actually to select them and then you list them so when you select 
or if you don't want to select just go ahead and click on list on market where it has this option to list on market but for some reason i want to sell everything at the same time now to sell everything at one go all you need to do is to select all by clicking on this icon and then you notice where it says bulk listing click on bulk listing and it then is going to display so um also guys you can enter the prices of the eos manually but right here this is actually where you enter the amount of the eos and this is actually the uh, price listed uh, probably the suggested price then you can enter in your price but actually doing this is going to take me a lot of time so all i need to do is to just do this auto fill Although it's going to minus the price by um, one. So when you do the auto fill, it's going to automatically fill all the EOS that you are selling, right? So it's going to minus by 1%. Do not forget that. But if you just want to enter in your price manually, go ahead and enter in the price manually. But I think it's actually okay to auto fill this because if you notice, this is actually the data price and then this is actually the price is put in. So it's actually a gain for you. So once you're done, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you can now sell your NFT. Hold on, still further down. Let me just, okay, right. Now, all you need to do is to confirm that you're okay with the prices that you have seen so far. So when you confirm this, it's going to prompt you to confirm. You just need to confirm that you want to sell, making use of the CPU power. But then guys, there is actually going to be a roadblock. Now, this is the roadblock. The roadblock is, we actually need um, this amount of RAM to actually sell our NFT. And this is the total amount of RAM I have, which is 6,488. And we are required to have like 21,428. So all I need to do is to buy more RAM. So this right here is actually how to buy RAM. So you need to buy RAM to sell your NFTs. So if you have so many NFT you want to sell at the same time, you actually need to buy RAM. And to buy the RAM, once you put in the amount of the EOS, it's going to display. And guys, this is actually what I have available on my wallet. You can notice I have it available. So make sure that you have this amount on your wallet before you'll be able to buy your RAM. If you do not have this, you cannot buy RAM. So I would suggest you to at least sell two EOS in order for you to have enough money to box sell. So I'm going to buy the exact amount of RAM that I need. So if you calculate this, this is 21, right? So let's say 21,428. Let's just be um, accurate here. So I don't want to randomly guess. So I'm going to get my calculator. And this is 21,488, right? 428. Four. To it then minus 6488 i think i should be correct with this yes so what we need is 14,940 ram so approximately 14,000 so i'm going to put in the amount and then i'm going to see the equivalent of the ram below here this is the ram so i'm going to put in 0. Um, 0.30 30 and we are going to get 18,000 RAM so we actually do not need the RAM and also I have also made inquiry about this RAM and somebody told me that we could actually buy cheaper RAM we could actually buy RAM higher and then sell it so I do not actually want to buy RAM and sell it because obviously it's going to be stressful so maybe I might have NFT later in the future I don't know that yet but I just want to buy the exact amount of RAM that I need right now so I'm trying to get a that amount. So this is actually 15 points. So let me try this. So this is actually 15 and I actually needed 14. So if I buy this, this should be enough. And you can see the amount of um, the amount in dollar. This particular amount is actually in EOS and this is the exchange in dollar. So um, all I need to do is to go ahead and click on buy. What we are spending is not even up to $1. What we are spending is 13 cents. <laughs> okay so go ahead and click on buy ram and then it should be loading all right uh confirm 
okay we have successfully bought our ram and i am not interested in subscribing to your newsletter so um just go ahead and make the sale okay i clicked outside which prompted it to go out so starting all over no need to explain this since we already gone through it okay failed again and oh god serious this is annoying i really hate making mistakes uh, so um the it wasn't enough probably a missed calculation so what i need now is um i have 3001 so what i need is like 50 something I need uh, just 550 something, but I'm buying 600. And no problem. This should be enough. Uh, just trying to confirm. Yes, this should be perfect. Okay. Confirm. I seriously don't want to subscribe. Don't force me. Okay. View transaction successful. So let's try this again. Auto fill. Displaying properly. Scroll down to the bottom. Confirm. Confirm. Don't give me another issue. Success. Okay, so now this is successful and we are just going to be waiting for our transaction to be successfully sold. So whenever you make sales on your EOS or you try to sell your EOS, it's not always going to be sold immediately. So you just actually have to give it some time. And this is actually, um, click on this three dotted area to refresh and to just check if it's sold. Most of the times it's not always sold immediately. You just need to actually wait for some time and it will be sold. So you can see our inventory is still the way it is. So I'm going to give this some time and then I'm going to come back and see if this is sold. So um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you on my next video. Peace.